Hello, hello, hello there, and welcome to this video. So in this video, I'm going to try and do that talking whilst playing the game thing. Uh, this is Space Engineers, and I've got something here quite fun lined up. Uh, first off, I just wanted to apologise for the lack of videos last week. I had a very busy week between work and um, my personal life, really. Uh, and with things with EE and TLO. So I didn't quite produce how I normally would. Um, but yeah, so I apologise for that. Um, here's what we're going to be doing today. So this is the, uh, I think it's called Easy Start Green, which is one of the newer Easy Start worlds in Space Engineers. And what I have done, so this is usually the fighter cargo bay. I got rid of the fighter in here, which is why that's all sparking. And I got rid of the other fighter thing over there. Which is why it's a din in that ship. But today we're going to be turning this bit into a ship, which is the fighter bay. I didn't quite finish the fighter on there and see what ended up, but I didn't, so we won't go there. Um, so as you can see, I now have the ion thrusters firing at maximum, but we're still quite safely hooked to the ground by these clamps here, and the rest of the station by this connecting tunnel here. Uh, you may notice that there's quite a lot of warheads around. Because obviously if we want to go flying off in our new spaceship, we can't be connected to anything. So there's warheads on all of the uh, pylons. Warheads outside. Warheads there. And I have a big button which I've quite happily um, called bang. Which will set that off. So, well, I'll start a 10 second countdown which will set that off. Uh, our control seat is here. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing in this relatively short video. So I just kind of wanted to say that I'm not going to be producing any more videos. This week I'm going to focus on editing and getting on my editing schedule because I, I should really be editing the, the, the videos the week after the current week. So I should always really be like you know, two weeks ahead with what I've got edited, uh, which hasn't been happening because of various things. Also kind of linked to this, I'm going to be cutting down somewhat on um well putting off a couple of videos so i'm not going to be editing and doing highlight videos for space engineers or venturecast uh, so space Engin they're both going to get high quality videos uh, with any like breaks or anything cut out but uh, they're not going to be specifically highlight videos or highly edited um but yeah so that's where we're going so those are go both of those are going to become stream events uh, I think what I'm going to do is alternate them, so Space Engineers one week, VengeCast one week, Space Engineers one week, VengeCast one week, and see how that goes. There we go, there is the 10 second countdown. Quite excited for this. This goes to plan, we should actually be flying. <laughs> 10 seconds is a really long time. The game is going to lag as well when that happens. They just upgraded the graphics engine, so it's a bit more laggy than it used to be. It's kind of can't be long left now. Don't want to. I did it wrong. I think I might have done this wrong. That's embarrassing. We'll do it from the old-fashioned way, rather than that way. That's because it's called bang. Yeah, there it is from that warheads. Oh, well, there we go. Woo! I think we're free. <laughs> the lag of that, that's one FPS right now. Well. That did not quite go to plan.
Okay, welcome back. So this time, uh, what I've done is uh, I just remembered I also only last time I only put thrusters on the back bit. So let, let's try and give ourselves a little bit of control. So I've had to stuck a couple more on. But rather than nuking everything, uh, I ran the two ships into the connecting corridor, which as you can see is now split. Uh, I ran the fighter through that. That's that one sorted. But I can't remember what it's called, but I ran this thing into there. Didn't get all the way through, so there's a couple of warheads. And there's a few warheads on that one. And on that one. So. Oh yeah, I also powered down both of these ships. That's why everything's red and not listed up on them. Uh, as the gravity <coughs> was just like you stood and it was sending you f flying everywhere. Which isn't ideal. So uh, yeah. We're going to prepare for takeoff. So these uh, back thrusters are fine. Oh, I also installed some batteries in here just so we've got a little bit of more. In fact, I'm just going to put them more in. Just so we've got a little bit of backup should everything else get blown up. So it's good. Right, where's my chair gone? There it is. So, permission for launch granted. Hoping that works this time. I set it to five seconds, so we shouldn't be here all day. Yes, there we are. Woo! Well, they didn't all go off. Yeah, they did. But, uh, chairs just there floating. Right. Why didn't it break? I was going to get that then. Usually, if you shoot them, they blow up. Evidently, not. In this case, it's just damaging them. Okay. Yeah. There it goes. Left without us. <laughs> oh dear. So thank you very much for watching today. We created a, a, a ship out of a station. It goes quite quickly. See you next time. Mm -hmm.